Decision time. Decision here. Time with Total Roam, the war game. Before we do that, just a hello. If you don't know me, my name is Jason. I've created this channel, The Game Warrior. Me and my wife are uh, older. Our kids are all gone. So we get to play a lot of games now. And uh, we do a lot of other things in other careers, but we're dedicated to building this channel up and uh, furthering the conversation about games. The way I see it, and I mentioned this before, uh, I, there's two ways I can add value to the world, right, in, in this space. One is information. So if you are coming here because you're in the same place I am right now, are you a yes or a no to Rome, then maybe this conversation with me was helping you. You go, yeah, you know what, I'm going to do it, or no, nah, I'm not. So that's, that's useful. The other side that I describe as uh, experience, which is just the joy of having a conversation with me. Like some people are going to like me, some people aren't. There's not really much I can do about it. But there's content creators that you like to spend time with, right? I'm a big fan of Joe Rogan, right? Obviously, you can't listen to everything he does. But three hour long conversations, and don't worry, I'm not going to talk for three hours, really enlighten me. They enlighten me. They get me excited because it's a conversation and there's nothing better than uh, escaping the world of sound bites, right? And Trust me, I'll do a lot of sound bites on this, you know, on this channel, but the longer, deeper, more rich communication we have, that's kind of what I'm going for in this space and the niche to fill. So, and also I have other careers and everything, so I don't need to do this, um, though it's obviously I like games and then I'm passionate about games as I learn them all. And then it's kind of become a purpose for me in what the way I look at it is purpose is outward for me. So I just want to share this with you. I want to share this gaming thing with people in the world. And so, and I have the freedom and the autonomy to do so. And my plan is to get really good at it. So I invite you to converse with me and share your feelings. And I've had, in the, just the month that we've been doing this, uh, I've had a lot of people reaching out and having just great conversations with me, long paragraphs they're typing. It's just, it, it's been real fun. And that's what I like. So, skip ahead. Here we are, Total Rome. I'll tell you this, when I saw this on GameFound, so last year when GameFound came out and they started putting their little previews out, I, I was just gonna get them all. I was just GameFound happy. And then I started to discern and discern and discern. And when I saw Total War Rome, the war game, just the, the main picture. Let's see if it could come up here. Uh, it's not coming up. I was in. I was like, I am getting this game. I know nothing about the, the video game anyways, but I was just an all-in kind of guy. And today, I am going to go over it with you and we're going to make a decision. Okay? So, you know what's happening, right? So if you're still here, you're either listening to me to be entertained or you're actually on the same path as I am total war yes or no okay so right now there are eight days left this has been going for a long time seems like it's been going a long time 475 156 I've signed up for the uh, the following the project so they give me their little updates and it's weird I don't know if any of you out there are watching, and you probably are, I mean, everyone is, the Simon Marvel Zombies campaign. A lot of people are complaining about it vis-a-vis -vis price point. But it's hard not to accept or to, to not see that Simon makes these campaigns fun. Like they got a morning reveal, they got a night reveal, and then somewhere in the middle they're hitting stretch goals, and then boom, down drops an expansion, and everyone's groaning because of the cost. But at the same time, it's fun. Like, I gotta hand it to those guys. It's fun. I don't see as many people doing that outside. I would think people would just go, that's the obvious way to do it. Um, I don't see that happening over here with uh, Total Ro Rome, uh, Total War Rome. I'm not complaining. Just the ride isn't as fun, right? The ride. A Kickstarter isn't just about, you know, investing your money and getting the goodies. It's the ride. It's fun. It's a, it's a game. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Uh, I love this picture. Um, let's look a little bit at the beginning of the video, which is fun. Five long months. And I like seeing this guy. This part gets me excited. is on ferociously from the north out of those damned forests that i like okay i just like that feel so i'm, I'm kind of like coming in and uh you know what everyone 
always puts the price off to last. Let's not do that, right? Let's not do that. Let's just look at prices, right? Uh, that's why I put it on the header cards. Did you see it on the video? I'll just tell you what the price is. Let's not mess with that. People want to know the cost. Um, in my other line of work, I do workshops and I do counseling for people and I do coaching, right? And I just tell them what the cost. I don't, you know, I don't do this big funnel. You get all excited and then, oh my gosh, you get hit with the sticker price. Here it is. Deluxe Emperor package, 218. You want the all in. There you go. Uh, there's a cheaper version, a little cheaper game, 84 bucks. Sounds like something for a real good war game you might pick up on a shelf, right? They say it's MSRP is 120 so that might be a really good deal, especially if you get the, the stretch goals with it. Um, Tribune Pledge, probably a little bit of extra stuff going on. Okay, so unlock stretch goals, but not faction boosters. Okay, so there'll be some extra fact factions that come with this. There's that little faction thing, and you get the stretch goals for those. Look at this, January 2023. I have no idea if they're going to make that. Here's the problem. I just don't trust them because I don't trust anybody right now, right? And it seems like we're, they're getting away with it. People are delivering games super late and they're getting away with it. I wonder, I don't know. There are a couple games out there that I did not back because I just don't think they're going to be there on time. And in fact, a year later, their pledge manager is still open and I, I could go in and, and get in on it. Um, so there's something to be said about this whole Kickstarter thing being fun. And then there's kind of a negative side to the whole thing. Okay. So let's go look at the, at the, the project. Um, here's the problem. Here's my problem with it for whatever, it, for whatever reason, bless my soul and bless your soul. I don't like this map. I just don't like it. It takes me back to kind of a more. I don't know, like an old war game. That feels to me like an old war game, an old Axis and Allies that I played a thousand times. Okay. So, one to four players. So, you can play solo, ages 14 and up, three hours, that's pretty long. Six languages. Why back now? You get some extra stuff. See these little miniatures? They remind me of the miniatures from Lords of Hellas. And that is a dangerous thing for me to do because Lords of Hellas is one of my favorite games. I also backed away from Lords of Ragnarok. And if I'm comparing these two, this is not doing it. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Stick with me. I love Rome. Like, I love that Roman thing. I just wanted this to feel different. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with this. That map slowed me down. And here's another thing. My play group. Okay, so I've got two play groups. Like, and my wife is part of both of those. So this, me and my wife are never going to play this game. To get together. I could make her do it. Make her is a bad word, isn't it? Or don't say that. I could invite her to it and she would because she's nice, right? She'll do it. But this is not, not her kind of game. And so I have a gaming group and we would do it. But again, if we're going to do it, I might do something like Lords of Hellas instead. Okay. Got some cubes. Got some cards. Mercenaries. Things look okay. Dice look basic. Uh, get your markers, get your board. I, I do like this part. You get to play Rome, the Barbarians, Carthage, or Greece. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And the miniatures, you get, these again look like the tiny little miniatures that uh, you get over at, uh, at uh, you know, the Waking Realms. I'm doing a little comparison here. Someone could come in, type on those comments right here with your little fingers, type, tap, 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 on, and tell me that that is not the same at all. Kind of looks the same. Um, the boats are the same in each one. The soldiers do look different for each one. You only get five of each one. It's not really... I mean, look at this elephant. Where's the elephant? Do I get an elephant? Uh, maybe I get that guy, right? I guess that's that guy. Well, where's the elephant, right? Um, horsemen. I, I don't see any horsemen. Those are nice, nice images. Okay. What are we going to do? Here's some Alexander expansions. I really like that. Battle play expansion, Emperor expansions, metal coins. Who's not going to go for that one? Upgraded plastic miniatures and buildings. I like that. Some stretch goals that are coming in. Some Egyptian miniatures, some German tribe miniatures. Maybe the horses are in here. Scythian miniatures. Those are the horses. There we go. Where's the elephants? Give me some elephants. Don't see some elephants so far. More to be revealed. Guys, I'm just going to go with my gut. Ladies, too. It's a no. 
I'm on a no. It's a no. Not going to invest here. I will say, and I wonder if you, again, type the in com comments in here. I wonder if uh, me having sticker shock over at the Marvel Zombies thing is worrying me. I also know that I have another one that coming up. I have Final Girl. I have to make that decision. I'll probably do the decision tomorrow on that one. Uh, and then I have some old ones. I still have to make some decisions on late pledge managers that are open. Um, Hell is one of them from Mythic Games. Um, I think there's a pathway to get Iridia. I'm not too sure. So it's a no. It's a no. I'm not waffling. Uh, give me your answer down below. If you're a yes and you think you could change my mind, I would love to hear it, right? Like I might be missing something. I'm not watching gameplay. I am not reading rule books. I rarely do. Did you know that? I rarely do. I just got to go by the feel, right? And then sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's just total feel for me. And man, when I look at these things with my wife, it's 100% feel for her. She just looks at a board. There's like, there are games. Here's a game. It's often, it's often considered the number one game in the world sometimes by certain Mr. Vassal. And it's called Lahav, right? So Uwe, Uwe Rosenberg, I think. My wife won't play it. It's just, just the board kills her, right? And uh, one day I'm going to get that game and, and play it. But I haven't had a chance to play games like that. But that's it. It's like a stylistic kind of thing. And it's also kind of like a trust factor. There has to be some trust. And uh, for whatever reason, it's not that I don't trust these guys. It's just that it's not a yes. It's a no. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching. It's a new channel. I, I love doing this. It's just so fun. So it's great. And the best part is having conversations with you guys. So feel free to uh, comment and I go through. And I'm at that early stage of my career in the gaming industry where I answer every email. I also like to tell everyone, and I probably say this too much, is to work out, get some sun, green smoothies, get your greens, get your energy, get, get your exercise. Even if it's just walking, I like a healthy gamer. A healthy gamer is a happy gamer. Okay, everybody. Total War, Rome, no, for me.